welcome back to Rainbow Six Siege. Hopefully this update will be exactly what I hope it will be. Oh man, I've been missing Rainbow Six so much. Ah, oh, this new update's gonna take forever. Ah, oh, come on. Actually, I know what to do. Why don't I just speed run the download? Yeah, that'll be sick. <laughs> It's mad to think that Rainbow Six released on December 1st, 2015, and what it was back then to what it is now is nearly a completely different game, especially with Crimson Heist, which is weird because normally it would be Operation Crimson Heist for you lot that aren't used to this kind of game. Now, I know most people that I typically play with are normally Call of Duty based, but ever since Crimson Heist has come out, I do feel like that Rainbow Six has gotten a lot more healthy, especially with the changes and the updates that they're making to the game. Granted, it's still far and far between a perfect game, but from what I've been playing recently, especially within this season, it's actually really good and probably more engaging than any of the previous operations that have come out in the game. And it's made a really big change, and I'm glad to tell you that it's a lot of fun, especially with the new operator, even though we're in the mid-season, this is all earlier footage if you couldn't tell. In the mid-season updates, there'll be a lot of new changes and bug fixes. That's traditional with any game that you play, especially with today's. You can't pay 60 quid for a full game and not have bugs in it. It's very rare for a game to release and not have any bugs, unlike good games like God of War. But when you consider that, it's actually still a really good operation. And when I say operation, obviously I'm talking about Crimson Heist. Now, the new character Flores is a really well-balanced character. So, as you can see, he's a two-speed and a two-armor. He also has the AR-33 assault rifle and Blackbeard's SR-25. The AR-33 is also unique to Thatcher, which is quite interesting when you think about it. But the good thing is about Flores is he has four drones that he can use that will explode when you choose to detonate it, unless of course it's hit by a mute jammer or somebody doesn't shoot it. But as long as you activate the explosive side of things, so if you're going into a room and you activate it to self-explode, as long as it's not hit by a mute jammer before you do that, or somebody throws a grenade at it, you're fine. The only combatants that you have against a Flores, realistically, is mute jammers, which I just said, or if you shoot it just before it goes into a bulletproof state. And within this bulletproof state, the only way to take it out is if you throw an impact grenade or a nitro cell. Those are the only ways to do it unless it's hit by a mute jammer. So overall, he's got really good versatility, especially in this season. He's got, like I said, he has four of those drones, which are very, very unique. And I reckon in a future update, they'll probably take it down to three. Because, you know, having four, you have at least a few extras. But not only can you kill people with it, it's a good versatile weapon, if you would, that is really good at just clearing rooms, especially if they've got, like, Jaegers and, you know, if you're lucky enough to take out mute jammers, it even takes out bulletproof cameras, it takes out barbed wire, cap can traps, pretty much anything that you can imagine, even Maestro's little drones it can take out as well. But on that note, another character that recently got a buff, especially within this season, and this base season especially, is Mute. Now, typically, I don't really talk about Mute. Mute's always been a very quite well-balanced character, but more so now that he's actually really, really powerful. So not only but now can he also mute what he was able to mute beforehand, he can also mute claim wars and air jabs. And it's said to believe that in future updates, he's actually been able to mute more, especially in a technical test server. But right now on the PlayStation side of things, we don't get the technical test server, unfortunately. But I can tell you for a fact that Mute is a very, very powerful character, especially at the minute. When if somebody throws down a claymore and you want to peek or whatever, as long as you put the Mute Jammer down first before you go out and you mute their claymore, then basically, yeah, there's not much that can really stop Mute anymore. He's definitely a lot more powerful than he once was. Uh... 
back in the uh, good old days when he could only mute specific things. But now he's he's a very, very powerful character and definitely one to look out for. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully there'll be more content coming soon. Just a quick shout out to my friend Ryan David. Uh, link in the description. He helped out with the intro. And uh, I hope you guys definitely got a kick out of this. So yeah, massive shout out to Ryan to make this video a bit more uh, fun and uh, the intro a lot more interesting. But yeah, hopefully you guys really did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like rating. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks and 13, otherwise known as the Sense Bros. Out. See you boys in the next one. Alpha Centauri. <laughs>